All right, so I do have a range of some of these ones that I have used this week and others are ones that I've come across and look really interesting uh, and others I've used in the past as well too. But the very first one is I've just been involved in building a new website landing page for a project that I'm uh, working on and I was looking for a color scheme. So uh, I, I'm more of a coder than a, uh, a designer. So this is one of the places that I go to uh, find good color schemes. It's called colorhunt.co. And uh, so you can pick out maybe some colors out of a, an image that you've got, or if you've generated a logo, then you know, some of the colors in the logo. But what you can do is, is it's got uh, color palettes here that all work together, you know, in a uh, website or, you know, your social media or your branding. So down the left-hand side, you can see there's a whole range of uh, keywords which describe, uh, you know, the sort of theme that you're looking for. So, you know, coffee is one of those things that I do uh, spend a bit of my time around. So here's a, a collection of coffee themes. So if you're wanting a sort of coffee themed website, there's there's a collection of those or if you want something a, a bit retro you know sort of back in the uh, 60s or 70s probably 80s is a bit retro now isn't it um, uh, we've got some color schemes here now the great thing about these is that you can um, click the heart on here to save some of these to your uh, favorites and if you hover over each of these colors uh, what you'll notice it might be a bit small for you now let's see if I can enlarge the screen. There we go. If you hover over them, you can see there's a uh, number there with a hex code before it. That's called the hex or the hex code for that uh, particular color. It's a unique code for that color. And that's what's used in the uh, CSS or style sheets of your um, uh, web application. So, or any graphic designer will, not, will know what that color is or web designer will know what that is. So if you give them these hex codes, they'll be able to use those in your uh, copy or and in your marketing. So all of these have got hex codes on. All you do is you uh, click on it and it uh, copies it. Uh, and so uh, you can sort of uh, have a look, pick one that you like. And the way I work it is I just sort of uh, click a few of the favorites and then I just narrow it down to something that I happen to like. So, so that one there is, it, it's a fairly quick, easy way to get a color scheme or color palette for you and your business uh, and they've got these other ones if you're not quite sure what you're looking for click on random that'll bring up a whole lot of different sorts of schemes and you can start to pick something out that's, that's something that you like as well so that one there is called colorhunt.co now these links we will drop these into chat so that at the end of the evening you can save the chat and then the links will be clickable so that you can click through and explore these as you as you like. So, so don't worry about writing down the URLs or if you can't see them, then these will all be in chat. And feel free to introduce yourself in chat as people are introducing themselves in there as well too. All right, next one that I've got is for those that are selling online courses and programs, or actually they don't even have to be online. Um, uh, there is, this here is a an affiliate tracking and management uh, software. So it's called idevdirect.com. And what this allows you to do is if you want other people to promote your programs uh, and to pay them for it as well, so that's called you know affiliate marketing or having affiliates or referrals, then a piece of software like this makes it super easy to track and manage your affiliates. So it, it, it's a plugin and it's a, it's a platform. And what it does is that you can give people a unique link to your pages that you're promoting. They can use that link in social media and emails, uh, in, you know, in their website or however they are promoting it. And every time so someone clicks on the link and if they buy through the link that is their link, their unique link, then it records them as the uh, referrer or the affiliate uh, that uh, help to uh, promote and sell your program. Uh, you've got uh, coupon codes that you can generate in here too. So you may have affiliates that you'd like to give them a coupon code to uh, give to their clients. So it means that they get it at a... Uh, a cheaper price, a special price, or it's, you know, you add value by adding something else uh, into it. And so you've got the option there to give them affiliate code with a commission um, code in it uh, as well too. Uh, um, and essentially at the end of the campaign, it's, it's a tracking platform. You can see, you know, who are the leaders in terms of the affiliates uh, who, who provide you with the most. You can pay them out from the uh, platform uh, as well too. And uh, and you can reward people that are your uh, top affiliates in the uh, 
uh, program as well. So it is a plugin. And if I look at uh, the applications, it was down here that it uh, connects with. Uh, where are we? Oh, it's not on this page yet, but it does connect into your major web platforms so that uh, you can use it with the likes of WordPress and uh, I think so of, uh, some of the other e-commerce platforms as well too. So that one there is called idevdirect.com. The next one I've got is one called Read Partner. So what this is, is it's an AI tool and it does things like summarize websites or videos or documents that you've, that you've got. And it's got a Chrome extension, so it's free to use it on the Chrome extension. They have, have got a, a paid plan as well, but you can install this for free. And what it does is you can drag a Word document or a PDF document up to it, and it will scan through it and it'll give you a quick you know, paragraph summary of that uh, document. Or if uh, someone else has sent you a document and it's a 50 page document, uh, you know, PDF, you can upload it and scan it. And uh, it will just give you a summary of what the document's about. You can put a website link into it. Uh, and if you put a website link in, it will give you a summary about what that uh, website is about as well too. So it scans through all the content of the site and gives you a uh, quick summary of it as well too. So it is a, it's a good platform there for you know getting a sort of a, a, you know, a quick scan through and an idea as to whether something's worth reading uh, more or whether it's the context that you're wanting to uh, read. The good thing about this one too is it doesn't only read text uh, documents and websites, but it also does uh, video too. So you can drop a uh, video link into there. So let's say a YouTube uh, video link and it will um, then scan the the uh, video. So essentially it uses the transcription tool of, of the uh, video, but then it summarizes it to give you an idea of what that video is about. So if you're like me, you don't have a lot of time to you know, listen to or watch, you know, hour long videos, uh, you can drop it in here, it'll give you, a, you know, the highlights of it all. And uh, you can decide whether it's worth watching the thing, you know, in its entirety, or whether you, you just get the concept out of it. And if you're like me, uh, you would be listening or watching these uh, videos at double speed anyway, or sometimes two and a half speed. So this one here is a really good way just to quickly find and summarize our documents and articles. And it is called readpartner.com. And it's free to start using. So I get in and uh, try it out. And um, this is a platform that we don't often use or don't sort of hear too many people using it for promotions and marketing. Yes, we use it here, but it's not our primary channel. And it's, well, it was Twitter. It's now X. And this particular app called tweethunter.io. I guess I should change the name now to uh, xhunter.io. That sounds more like a uh, Marvel movie. Uh, but what it does is it helps you to, uh, with your lead generation on, on uh, Twitter. So it does things like, you know, finds uh, and groups uh, sort of articles, people in a particular segment that you're, uh, which might be your uh, target market, helps you to uh, get, um, you know, new content ideas. So you can start to curate some of the uh, posts that are out on, on Twitter to start to find, you know, threads that people are writing about and interested about and audiences that are in there that potentially could be audiences for you. And from it all, it helps you to generate content that, you know, will align with those uh, particular audiences. Got AI tools in there to help to write your uh, content in there as well so that it's engaging uh, and you know click worthy uh, in there so so what it, it's all designed to help make twitter an easier tool for you to use without having to spend a ton of time you know looking for you know the right people to follow or the right people to connect to uh, it does a lot of that heavy lifting for you so it is a it is a valuable tool to use alongside twitter if, if you're using twitter or if you're not using uh, twitter or x then um it's a great way to start uh, getting into the platform to see what the uh, opportunities are in there to use it uh, for your marketing. I think sort of, uh, this part of the world, uh, you know, Twitter's used a lot by uh, journalists. So you'll often find a lot of journalists uh, profiles on there. So if you want to pick up what's happening in the news or what journalists are inter interested in, if you start to follow some of them, then uh, you get some idea as to you know, what their interests are. And that's particularly useful if you're looking to get PR in some of the uh, you know, newspapers, TV, and some of the uh, publications. So you get to find, you know, the sorts of things they're interested in, what they're calling out for, and it might help you with, you know, create content that, you know, encourages them to, to get in touch with you. So that one there is called tweethunter.io. 
And the last one is, this is a book that I have ordered recently. I have not read this one yet. I've seen it multiple times because the guy that wrote it is a, um, a Google ads expert uh, from King Kong Marketing. Uh, and he wrote this book called Sell Like Crazy. And it's all about how to be successful with your online marketing using uh, Google ads. Uh, some, uh, so that book there is on its way. The reason why I ordered the book, uh, one, it's free. Uh, so that's always a good uh, start for me. Uh, when I say free, you do pay for the postage. So I think it ended up being about $5 uh, to, to pay for the postage and packing for it all. So that's either sitting in my mailbox at the moment or it'll be delivered there in the next day or two. But uh, it, covers, it covers everything from you know the ads, your opt-in pages, your funnels, um, you know, the very stages that the buyers go through before they actually buy anything. And one of the things he does talk about in there is that a lot of people that are marketing or advertising are trying to get to the people that are ready to buy or looking to buy something right now, which comprises about 3% of the market. So you're missing out on 97% of the other prospects in there who are either just researching or not even sure that, uh, uh, you know, about your product or service or the problem you, you uh, that you solve. So it works through strategies for all of those uh, areas there. So, yeah, so that book there, Sell Like Crazy, Definitely worth getting, and it is worth getting to have a look at how he implements his funnels. So, and that was one of the things that I was curious about. And you get to see, you know, everything from uh, what, well, in my case, it was a, what was it? It was a Facebook ad. Um, and so you get to see it, and then all the way through the process. He's got upsells on the way through, downsells on the way through. He's got email follow ups. So, here's a really good example of how to create good landing pages and lead generation process. So, well worth getting. Well, actually, I'm, I hope it's well worth getting because it's be in my mailbox. But um, as I say, it is free, and he is an expert in this area. And I think he's based down in Melbourne in Australia. And that there is, or oh, the URL for that is selllikecrazybook.com. And that there is a roundup of our cool online tools and gadgets for today. So let's drop and chat. What was your, your favorite one? What's the one that you think will uh, take up some of your time or you'd like to explore? All of the links there are now in chat. Uh, they're the last entry in chat at the moment. Uh, if you're not sure where chat is, if you click uh, if you have a look at your tool, toolbar down the bottom, there's a speech bubble icon. It says chat beneath it. And if you click on that, that'll open up the chat. And yes, you can see lots of people joining the uh, conversation in there as well too. But yeah, drop into chat. What was your favorite tool? That just helps me to keep on track with uh, some of the tools to see that uh, they are relevant, helpful, and useful for you as well too. Now, all these online apps and tools, we will drop these into the Business Owners Smashing Online Facebook page or Facebook group. Uh, if you're not a member of that group, now's a good time to head over to Facebook and just search for business owners smashing online, click on join, and we'll accept you into that group. And of course, uh, uh, most of the previous apps and tools that we have previewed here, they'll also be in that um, in there as well for you to uh, search. Uh, and of course, you'll you'll see these on the Smashco YouTube channel. Uh, they'll be up there uh, tomorrow as well too. And uh, we'll post some of these across the uh, web as we do as well, too. All right. So what do we got? What's what's our uh, favorite app today? Uh, still coming in like there. All right. So like crazy, the color palette, real partner, color hunt, color hunt, color hunt, tweet hunter. So like crazy for my birthday. That's excellent. What a great birthday present. And read partner. It looks like our, our top one there is color hunt. Uh, for those that are looking for good color palettes, but yeah, close second for the for the book. And um, oh, what else was it? Oh, it just looks like the book there. Excellent. All right. Well, look, enjoy those uh, apps and tools. Uh, and of course, if you think there are any apps and tools that uh, might be useful to include in on the show, then uh, feel free to shoot them through to me. And uh, always looking for uh, good ones and recommendations from people and always happy to uh, you know review some of those as well. Of course, I don't get to see all of the tools that are out there. So your help letting me know is also helpful as well. So I bring these to you so that you've, you've got some things that are hopefully uh, better uh, you know, or hopefully good for you to, um, uh, to use in your business. Uh, and of course, if you're wanting some advice, help around 
uh, you know, a suite of online tools, or you want some help around, you know, the, sort of, the sorts of tools that you could be including in your business, feel free to reach out. We do have a number of programs here to really help you uh, to, uh, you know, with your online business as well too.